Hello there, my name is Pete Montgomery and I'm one of the elders at Fremont. And I'm excited to be with you here today on Story Advent Storybook Day 3. A Perfect Life Ends, Genesis 2-3. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3, 23 to 24. Satan took the form of a snake and found the man and the woman. Satan asked, did God really say that you can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman corrected Satan. God said, if we eat from just this one tree or even touch it, we will die. The serpent lied. You all won't really die. If you eat from it, you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The delicious fruit looked good. It could make them wise. Everything God made was wise. Why would God keep a good thing from them? The woman decided to disobey God. She picked the fruit and ate some, and she gave some to the man. He ate the fruit too. And then something terrible happened. Before they were, clo before they were clothed by God's glory. Now they felt naked. Before they knew only good. Now they knew evil too. Before, they had never been afraid. Now they felt guilty and terrified. When they heard God walking in the garden, they hid. The serpent had deceived the woman. The woman and the man had disobeyed God. The perfect relationship between God, his people, and his creation were gone. So, God told the serpent and the woman and the man what would happen. The snake must crawl on his belly, eating dust. The woman would be hurt by having babies, and the man would rule over her. The man would work very hard to grow food for his family, and God would send them out of his perfect garden. But God also spoke a promise. One day, a son of woman would crush the head of the serpent, and the evil that Satan had started would end. God killed an animal and made clothes for Adam and Eve. They left the beautiful garden. Now, death sadness fear and evil were part of their world their only hope was god's promise so the question for today is what did they hope for <laughs>